Hello everyone. Today I shall discuss exercise 7.1, question number 3. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. Let's find. First of all, first of all, what do we do? First of all, find the prime factorization of 81. Let us find. First of all, the number is 81. 81. Find the prime factorization of 81. 81, it can be written as, if you divide it by 3, you will get 3, 2 is 6, 3, 7 is 21, 3, 9 is 27, 3, 9 is 27, and 3, 3 is 9. 3 into 3 is a 9. Then we can write 81 as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Here you see 1 3 is left out. Here you see here 1 3 is left. 1, 3 is left, 1, 3 is left, which is not a triplet, which is not a triplet, which is not a triplet. Which is not a triplet. If we divide, if we divide 81 by 3, divide 81 by 3, we will get a perfect cube. We will get, get a perfect cube. get a perfect cube right therefore 81 divided by 3 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 right therefore if you divide 81 by 3 it 1 by 3 then we are getting 3 to the 6 6, 8 minus 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, is 1, 3, 7 is 21, right? Therefore, we are getting 27, and that is equal to 3 cube. Right? Therefore, therefore, the smallest number Therefore, the smallest number, the smallest number, the smallest number by which, by which, the smallest number by which 81 should be divided, by which 81 should be divided should be divided should be divided should be divided to make it a perfect cube to make it to make it a perfect cube a perfect cube a perfect cube is 3 and that is the answer. Now you solve question number 2 that is 128. Let us solve question number 2. Here question number 2 is 
128. First of all, we'll find the prime factorization of 128. Find the prime factorization of 128. Divide by 2. This was your 12. 2 4 is 8. Again, divided by 2. That is 2 3 is 6. 2 to your 4. Again, divided by 2. That is 2 16 is 32. 2 8 is 16. 2 4 is 8. And 2 to your 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 2 into 2. Into 2. Into 2 into 2. Into 2. Into 2. Here you see here. 1, 2. 1, 2 is left. 1, 2 is left. 1, 2 is left. Which is not in triplet. Which is not in triplet. Which is not in triplet. Not in triplet. Therefore, if we divide 128, therefore we have to, we have to divide, we have to divide 128 by 2, by 2, to get a perfect cube, to get A perfect cube to get a perfect cube. Therefore, 128 divided by 2 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 right now if you divide 128 by 2 that is 64 it will be 64 that is equal to 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube right therefore you can say is a perfect cube is a perfect cube perfect cube therefore 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 the smallest number therefore the smallest number Therefore, the smallest number by which by which the smallest number the smallest number by which by which 120 128 128 should be divided should be divided should be divided should be divided to make it a perfect cube to make it a perfect cube to make it a perfect cube cube is 2 and that is the answer we'll solve question number 3 that is 135 we'll solve question number 3 question number 3 here you see is 135 first of all we have to find the factorization of 135 135 
to find the factorization of 135, 1, 3, 5, divided by 3, that is 3, 4, 12, 3, 5, 15, again divided by 3, that is 3, 3, 3, 3, 5, 15, again 3, 5, 15, 3, 5, 15. Then you could write here as 3 into 3, 3 into 3, into 3, into 5. Here, here 1, 5 is left. Here 1, 5 is left. Here 1, 5 is left which is not in a triplet, which is not, which is not in a triplet. Which is not in a triplet. Therefore, we have to divide. We have to divide to divide 135, 135. We divide 135, 135. To 135 by 5 to obtain a perfect cube. To obtain A perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube therefore 135 divided by 5 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 if we divide 135 by 5 135 by 5 and we are getting 5 to the 10 13 minus 10 that is 3 that is 5 5 7 is 35 35 Therefore, we are getting 135 divided by 5 is equal to 27. 27. And that is equal to 3 cube, which is a perfect cube, which is a perfect cube. Therefore, the smallest number. Therefore, the smallest number, the smallest, therefore, the smallest number by which, the smallest number by which one thirty five must be divided, must be divided. must be divided to obtain to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube is 5 and that is the answer right we will solve question number 4. Question number 4 here you see is question number 4 is 192 192 First of all we will find the factorization of 192 192 divided by 2 it is 2 9 18 2 6 12 again divided by 2 3 2 4 8 16 2 to the 16, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, 
Okay, divided by 2. 2. 22, 2 is 4. Again, divided by 2. 2, 6 is 12. 2, 3 is 6. How many 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means you can write here as 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 here 1 3 is left here 1 3 is left which is not in triplet which is which is not in triplet in triplet which is not in triplet which is not in triplet therefore you have to divide therefore we have to divide we have to we have to divide we have to divide 192 192 by 3 to obtain a perfect cube to obtain to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube therefore 192 divided by 3 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 let me divide 192 by 3 192 by 3 then 3 6 18 19 minus 18 is 1 2 3 4 is 12 Then we are getting 64. Therefore, 64 is equal to 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube, which is a perfect cube, which is a perfect cube, which is a perfect cube. Therefore, the smallest number, the smallest, therefore the smallest number, by which, the smallest number by which, 192 is divided divided to obtain to obtain to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube is 3 and that is the answer right now we shall solve question number five and question number five is we will solve question number five. Question number five is seven hundred four that is seven hundred four seven zero four. First we will find the factorization of seven hundred four. Seven hundred four. 
we divide it by 2, then we are getting divided by 2, 3 is 6, 2 for 10, 2 to 4, again divided by 2, this is 22, 15, 2 is 14, 12, 2 is 12, again divided by 2, 2, 8 is 16, 2 is 16, again if we divide it by 2, 2 for the 8, 2 for the 8, again divided by 2, 2 to 4, 2 to 4, again if we divide it by 2, 2 11 to 22, that we can write 6 2, therefore, you have to write 22, 2 into 2, into 2, into 2 into 2, into 2, into 11. Here you see, here, 11 is left, only 1, 11, 1, 11 is, only 1, 11 is left, 1, 11 is left, which is not in triplet, which is, which is not in triplet, which is not in triplet, which is not in triplet, which is not in triplet. Therefore, we have to divide 704 by 11. Therefore, we have to, we have to divide we have to divide, we have to divide 704 by 11 to obtain a perfect cube, to obtain a perfect cube, to obtain a perfect cube. To obtain a perfect cube, therefore, 704, therefore, 704 divided by 11 is equal to 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube. Now if we divide 704, if we divide 704, if we divide 704 by 11, then we are getting 6, 11, 66. 70 minus 66, that is 4. 70 minus 66, 4. And this 4 will come. Then 4 11 is 44. 44. Then we are getting 64. We are getting 64. Then we can write 64 is equal to 64 is equal to 2 to the power cube into 2 to the power cube which is a perfect cube which is a perfect cube which is a perfect perfect cube therefore the smallest number, therefore the smallest number, therefore the smallest, therefore the smallest number, by which, by which, 704, 704 must be divided must 
be divided must be divided to obtain to obtain to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube to obtain a perfect cube is 11 and that is the answer <coughs> dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share and also press the notification bell so that you may get the uploaded videos immediately thank you everybody for watching this video